I love the overhead camera angle. It is incredibly useful when you're doing videos where you're making stuff, you're laying things out, you're designing, or even just like product reviews or showing off a tool. And lately I haven't had a good solution for an overhead shot and so I just haven't been doing them much. If you've been around this channel for a while, you may remember back in the shipping container days, I was doing a lot of overhead camera work and that, that place where I filmed was right in front of a window. It had excellent natural light. And I've been thinking about it. I need some type of a good solution where I can take whatever camera I'm currently using, grab it, quickly put on an overhead rig, get that shot, and then take it and move on. I was looking around for a good solution. I couldn't find anything. And I was thinking about building something that kind of came over top and I thought I don't really want to I don't want to block in this end of the table because behind me over here there's a whole bunch of signs that need to be stained and this is the organization station. This is where I like categorize everything, get everything ready by the color. And so I thought I want something that's overhead here, but I want something that can go out of the way. And not being able to find anything commercially available, I kind of whipped up something of my own and this is it. So I'll just kind of show you what it's all about. Essentially, it's just a piece of quarter inch steel square tubing with a one inch steel bar on the inside of it. This is solid. And then there's this knob that I had. I don't know, this is just a parts thing that I saved. So I can move this whole apparatus up and down depending on the focal length I want or what lens I'm using. And then this whole thing simply bolts, just screwed to the side of my desk here. And up top, this is an old airport baggage carousel lower support wheel. Now you could do this probably just with a piece of steel and just have it friction bolted. Uh, there are two bearings in here with a sleeve in between so I can tighten this up. And then I just drilled through this polymer stuff, bolted on an angle iron, and then this main beam right here, this is actually a Cinevate slider that I never really used for sliding shots. So I thought, you know what? We can just go ahead and utilize this here. If I ever wanna put it back to a slider, I can just bolt the support legs on either end, but that also gave me quick mounting holes for this piece of angle iron. And then this thing was really movie, like it just went blah, 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 everywhere I wanted to go. And so then I just drilled and tapped this right here and then bent this up. And this is just a little friction break so that wherever I move this, it stays. And it doesn't matter what camera I have on there, it is going to stay put. On top, I figured I would add this little thing here. Now this was a, um, a dial indicator holder. You can get these cheap on Amazon. And then I just kind of took it apart, re-threaded these. These were a metric thread, but I was able just to re-thread them so that they work with my uh, different speakers. So that if I'd wanted to, I can actually put a shotgun mic facing me while the camera is facing down there. Again, one of the really handy features is that I can take whatever camera I'm actually filming with and I can simply put it up in here, lock it down, and boom, I can get the shot I want, move this around, adjust whatever angle I need. And it makes getting an overhead shot super fast and convenient. And then when I'm done with it and I'm like, okay, we're not doing that shot anymore and I wanna just work on this table, I can just swing this right out of the way and uh, I've got this whole work area back. Or again, if I really wanted to leave a dedicated camera up on here, I can do that and move it out of the way. Um, you obviously won't necessarily have all these bits and bobs that I have, but I thought I'd just kind of share this idea um, a pivoting arm that you just make from scrap. Like this is unpainted steel. Um, I mean, nobody's gonna see it in the shot. That's why I have it swing out of the way so I can get this shot here. But man, I've been using it a lot lately and it has been super handy. So I thought maybe if you guys are looking for some type of an overhead camera rig, this would just give you something to think about. Most people think in terms of something overhead with two sides and then a support gantry or something like that. And I thought, why not something that just swings out of the way? I don't know. It really, really is working well for me and I'm happy. I took the time to make this little improvement that make filming videos a lot easier. Well, thanks for watching guys. I hope you have a fantastic day. We'll see you in the next one. Cheers.